built-in oven. It's a frigid, frigid air model. Um, it stopped working. Now I did some diagnosis and to repair the part kind of outweighs the cost of getting a new one. I was pretty close to the cost of getting a new one. And this thing is probably, uh, I would guess about 10 years, maybe even more. Somewhere between 10, 15 years old. So we're gonna replace it with a new one. And all I've done, I know I'm kind of late taping, but all I've done is um, pulled the oven out. I removed the door and there was two mounting screws, one at this corner, one on the other one. And I pulled the whole oven out I'm going to replace it with a new one. So, uh, stay tuned. Thank you. So now we're at the part where I've just pulled out the oven. Okay. Now I'm going to start getting to the electrical disconnect part. Very important that you turn off the power to the oven. Go to your fu uh, fuse panel. Locate the breaker that is for the oven. Turn it off. Make sure it's off. And the way you do that is you can look at the clock on the oven, make sure that's out, you got no power. And then you can even double check it like I'm going to and use a tester, electrical tester, and check for power to make sure that in fact there's no possible way that there's power at this junction box. It's right here. And there's my tester. If there was anything in here or anywhere near it, this will pick it up. So there was nothing there. I'm also gonna check the inside as well before I start disconnecting and touching things. So there's the inside. Again, with a good reliable tester, this is a GB. You can use anything that you want as long as it's good and reliable. We're checking for power. Nothing, it doesn't beep, there is no power. Now that little beep that you just saw there, that's probably my finger coming off the button temporarily. So nothing here. Okay, now we're gonna disconnect. Okay, so this particular uh, wiring job has got, it's gonna have four wires going to the junction box and they're all color coded. So red, we'll go to red, white to white, black to black and then you got your neutral that's in this case it's green but that's the green coming out of the old oven the new oven is going to have the same neutral wire as that right there so it's going to be a, a bare wire and we're going to connect all of them the exact same way connected so right now I've got my old oven completely disconnected and we know that the wire the fuse has been probably turned off because if it wasn't I wouldn't be standing here talking to you guys so it's very important guys turn that power off
Okay, so the wiring is done. There it is in the junction box over there. Um, now I'm gonna put the oven back in. There's a support that has to go down there. I'm gonna install that. Okay, so the new oven is going in, all the electrical stuff is connected at the back, and if I did my measurements correctly, this should line up. Let's see. Okay. Something's stopping it at the back. 